The earth uh, is composed of three distinct layers of the core, mantle, and the crust. And the mantle of the earth has convection cells, is hot, and the hot material rises. When it reaches the surface, it creates cracks in the uh, crust of the earth, we call it lithosphere, and these cracks, one after another, extend and create eruptions. Magma forms at the base of the earth crust, and then rises and creates this eruption. We have such an example in the Reckoners Peninsula of Iceland, where sequence of these uh, uh, cracks uh, lead to sequence of eruptions. When one is active, eventually the next one adjacent to it will become also active. We call these things volcanic systems, and we have around four or five of them in just the Reckoners Peninsula. We have now the eruption in the area of the Swartzengi, and usually when one starts, it extends all the way to the north of the Iceland, eventually, over centuries, it, this happens. We have the eruption now in the Swartzengi volcanic system. This is sorted like this. You can he see it, and then now we are having a cluster of the earthquakes in the westernmost part of this peninsula, in what is called as a Hengil volcanic system, a series of earthquakes at a depth of 7 to 5 kilometers concentrated in the uh, small amount of time in a specific location. The current eruption is already seen from this space. We can see it is very big. A huge river of lava is formed, which is flowing all around downhill, towards the sourcing um, uh, geothermal power plant and the world famous uh, Blue Lagoon Spa. And it's quite possible that this Hengel system is also preparing to erupt in the coming years or decades. We have to wait and see. I have several videos about this. This is a collection of them. Since the end of the last eruption of the sourcing volcanic system in August, we are seeing lots of earthquakes in the area of the the Reckoners Peninsula of Iceland. Many of them are concentrated around this lake, which we call Clare Farwat. And that is forming along uh, a series of the transform and extension faults that divide the boundary between the uh, Eurasia and North America. The pulling apart of the land in this area create this uh, extension and transferring the movement to those transform faults, the top parts at a shallower angle. And uh, most of it at the moment are concentrated in the Krisovic area. And we can see in the depth model of these uh, earthquakes, they're concentrated around the depth of the 7 to 5 or 4 kilometers. This is the area earthquakes are happening. Earthquakes are practically... Uh, shatter or fracture zones, creating uh, voids and fractures and uh, pulverizing rocks, creating pathways practically for any kind of fluid that can flow there. It can be water, brine, or even magma. In this case, in this area, if you have a magma reservoir at the depth of the 12 kilometer, which is in the case in the Sorsengi, that can feed this shallower uh, reservoirs, which are formed by these earthquakes, and create a shallow uh, magma reservoir. We have it in the sourcing volcanic system, where this shallower uh, reservoir, like an aquifer, fills up, and every now and then erupts as a volcano in this area, as a fissure eruption, actually, I should say. For example, in the sourcing, we had it in the Fagodesville. This is happening for the last three years, and we are seeing it here. Uh, there is a possibility. We are seeing formation of this kind of uh, uh, reservoir for the magma pulverized and fractured zone at a depth that can form a reservoir in the uh, Krisovic uh, area. This area is, of course, a volcanic system. Already we had eruption there, and there are lava fields associated to that, which extend for 50 kilometers, even approaching the town of the 
Reykjavik, the capital of the Iceland. This is a cartoon which shows what I have talked about in, in this area. And the extension, as we know, is happening in this uh, fashion, that uh, uh, one uh, eruption in one area, for example, here, as you see in the lava flow marked, that's, for example, Swartzengi, eventually will lead to eruption in the adjacent area, which is this purple area in this uh, map, and create another volcanic system. The Swartzengi may cease to erupt, but the Krisovik eventually will start and take over. As the eruption gets more difficult in the Swartzengi, Krisovik building its reservoir will be the next one to erupt. It may happen any time next year, within two, three day, years, if we are lucky to witness this, or we should say we are unlucky. At the moment, we are seeing the building up of the magma reservoir without actually magma being inside it. This is just a reservoir, meaning a shattered zone of fractures like the aquifers for water, where any liquid can actually gather in that area. And we are waiting for that just to see what happens. I have a video about the situation and uh, what is going to happen in this area, or what is happening, I should say. Please watch that also, which complements what I've said here. We have a series of earthquakes about 17 of them, concentrated in a small area in the Reckoness Peninsula of Iceland, around the Lake uh, Clearwatwat. And as you can see here, uh, the timing was interesting just a few minutes ago, and the concentration of them in a certain time. And that was it. When we look at the uh, data closely, we see the depth of them is interesting. I've marked them here, you can see. The depth of the five to seven kilometers and the magnitude is written here. They're quite a small. And when we plot them on a chart in three dimension, you can see that they are restricted to a depth of the seven to five kilometers. Magnitude relatively bigger compared to what we have in this area and in that area, we don't have uh, any earthquakes at the moment that is as big as that. Although we have the sourcing swarm rising gradually in the middle, you can see that. And the location of them indicates these are related to the Krisovic volcanic system, a nasty big volcanic system. When the movement in this peninsula happens, the Krisovic and the adjacent volcanic systems the fault lines, they have to accommodate this. The two the transform faults, as you see here, and this is the jagged line of the transform fault and the normal faults. Transform faults are those ones in the black, I've marked them, the movements of them in the Eurasia and the North America. Eurasia, Eurasia is toward the right. When they pull apart like that, the earthquake happens. And this is the exact definition of this kind of you know, rupture. When such a thing happens, deep in the earth, these blocks of the rock, these slivers of the rock, down to the mantle of the earth, softened at the depth, of course, create this uh, sudden jerky movements. We know they are not related to the magma movement, because when we look at the GPS data for this area, this is Krisovic data, you cannot see any change in the GPS data due to the accumulation and rising of the ground, ground due to the accumulation of the magma. Adjustment to station also doesn't show anything like that. These are the definition of the word tectonic. And this is what we see here. Sudden jerky movement which creates rupture and breaking apart of the earth crust. That is tectonic. This is the definition of the uh, rupture breaking or bursting suddenly. And this is the AI image created wall when you describe it. Such a thing, something like that. Of course, at the depth, no gap between them. But that is a tectonic rupture of the crystal to accommodate the movement for the peninsula.